Hi, this is Danny at the Lima Public Library, and today I'm going to review one of our best online academic resources. So we're going to start at the library's website, www.limalibrary.com, and in the upper right hand corner, select Find Info. And then in the list below, select Databases. Now there are tons of resources on here, and many of them are academic in nature, but the one with the broadest spectrum is Academic Search Premier, and this is great for pretty much every level of education from middle school up. So if you select Academic Search Premier, if you're at home, it may ask you for your library card information and PIN. You'll just fill that in and then it should take you right to this screen. If you have any trouble getting to this screen, please contact the library at 419-228-5113. We're happy to help you navigate to this. But once you're here, it's fairly easy to use. You're going to start off with a, a keyword search, or if you know a journal article that you're looking for, you can type that in here. Or if there's something more specific, you can add those terms here to the basic search box just like you would in Google, but more academic. So say that you're looking for information about libraries in Ohio. Just type that in. And then below that search box, there are a few options that you can select. And you can choose to apply any of these. It's up to you how you want to structure your search. But the one that I really recommend is this full text. Um, this means that any result that's pulled out for you will definitely have access to the full text article of the journal you're looking at. It can be really frustrating if you see this perfect article and you can't get to the full text of it. So select that full text box, and if you would like to, you can select scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. That will depend a little bit more on uh, the level of education you're working at. Um, but you can select any of these really. When you're all finished with that, you can either select search in the green box here at the top or at the bottom here. And it gives you your list of results. Now it shows you your search terms here at the top and it shows what you have selected as a refining tool so far, that full text and scholarly reviewed. So you have 542 articles to look through. That's an awful lot, and you might want to narrow that down just a little bit. So you can still do that on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, say you only want articles that are from the 2000s. You can use this bar for publication date to scroll up to 2000, and it will update. So now that drops the number of results down to 495. That's still a lot to look through. So what you can do is, again, go back to that left-hand side of your screen. And maybe you're really being specific about geography or about the subject. You can select Ohio here. And it's only going to give you four articles to look at. Well, maybe that's not quite enough. If you would like to get rid of one of the uh, limiting result items, you can select the blue X on the left hand side beside that item. Just click that X and it goes away. And that will bring you back to the 495 results. Um, let's choose Geography and Ohio. And there are 51 results here. So this is a more reasonable amount of results to look through and you can view each item. So you've got the title here. This one has a few images to look at. You get a small subject list here, but if you're really looking for what is at the heart of this article, you actually want to click on the title. And when you do that, you're going to get the same subject terms that you saw on the previous page, but you're also going to get the abstract. What is this article about? And you can read that here. And if this says to you, yes, this is exactly what I need for my project, what you can do is scroll back to the top of the screen and select PDF full text. And as long as you have a PDF reader on your computer, the full text article will appear here. And from here, you'll be able to print it, email it, or share it. 
So, or you can just read it here on the screen. It's totally up to you um, what you do with it from here. If you have any questions about this resource, uh, please feel free to contact us. The number here is 419-228-5113 and we're always happy to help you narrow down your search terms and get the best results possible. Have a great day.